In this week's Tuesday tutorial, we're going to take a look at a simpler and quicker way to crop an image in Photoshop. I'm Dave Cross and if you've ever tried to crop something in Photoshop, you know it's really a lot harder than you think it should be. If I just want to take a photograph and make it an 8x10, it just seems like there's a lot of effort to go to the crop tool and put in the, the measurements and worry about the resolution, all that kind of stuff. So there's an interesting alternative way that I've been using for quite a while now and it actually works really well and it involves creating what it amounts to almost like a template document that's your final size and then just drag images into it. Here's how it works. So here's the image that I ultimately want to crop down to an 8x10. And of course, if I go to my crop tool, I could pick one of the sizes like 8x10 and then worry about the resolution and all those sort of things. But I think there's a simpler way using this concept of a template. So what I do instead is I make a new document. You only have to do this the first time because once you've made this new document, you can use it from then on in anything you're doing. So I'm going to make the width 10 the height 8 and the, for the resolution this depends on what you're doing with it. I know on my Epson printer I have found that a resolution of 240 pixels per inch works really nicely all the time. So I'm going to put in 240 and click create. So now I have a document that I know will print the right size on my printer with the right resolution. All I have to do now is go to my photograph and just drag and drop it in there. So I've got my move tool selected. I'm going to click and hold on this photo, drag it up to this tab, wait till it switches and then drag back down. I'm going to also hold down the shift key to make sure it's in the center. Now you can see right away here's where we get a bit of an issue because if it tries to fit the whole thing in it's going to leave a bit of a white space which I don't want. I want the whole thing to be filled in edge to edge. So if I go to free transform command and control T this tells me that here's what I've got to work with. If I hold on the shift key and drag it, all this area is going to be cropped out, but at least now I'm getting a full and realistic preview. So now I can just drag it around position wherever I want. I think I like that idea. Press enter. And now I can send this to print. Once you've printed this file, then you can delete that layer and I would save this document with some name like 8 by 10 cropped print or something like that that makes sense to you. So you know anytime you want a print of that particular size, you just have to drag it in, resize, hit enter and then send it to print. Now of course you could do this for different sizes. As an example, I also want to have a 5 by 7. So I'm going to make 7 by 5 at 240. Create that and then do the same thing. If I want a 5 by 7 now, I would drag it into this document, which of course I wouldn't normally have named 5 by 7. Hit free transform. Here's an extra tip if you haven't seen this one before. Uh, when I hit free transform, I can't see the outer handle. So instead of guessing, once I've done free transform or press the shortcut for free transform, I press command and control 0. That fits it in the screen enough for me to see the handles. Now I'm going to hold down two keys, option or alt to scale towards the center and shift to keep it proportional. So alt shift on PC, option shift on Mac and this way when I go to transform you see it's scaling right towards the center proportionally. And I can hit enter and once again reposition to get the look that I want and then print that as a 5 by 7. So it's a pretty simple idea as you can see and the, the reason I show this is because over the years I've had so many people say to me things like gosh, it's hard to understand how the crop tool works or it didn't crop the way I wanted or uh, the resolution was wrong or something. That's why I like this method because you know once you've made that document once in the size and resolution you need, you save that as a template and from then on, and then tell me I want to crop and print to that size, you just drag it in there. And of course, I should clarify, it doesn't, it's not only for printing, it's for anything. If you want to make an image a particular size for Facebook, make a document that's the size, the dimensions and resolution you need for that purpose and save that as a template with an appropriate name. And then anytime you want to make a, a document in that size, you just drag it in, resize it using free transform, and you're off to the races. So there you go, uh, just a quick little tutorial for you. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday for another Photoshop tutorial. And please, if you have friends that use Photoshop, share this with them. And if you could like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. I'm Dave Cross. See you next time.